Hello, and welcome to TMC's How To Demo Series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central for basic tasks within your organization. If you can't find a demo you're looking for, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to conclude our look at basic CRM in Dynamics 365 Business Central. In part one of the series, we covered the contacts, accounts, and the use of Microsoft Outlook with Business Central CRM. In part two, we saw the basics of opportunities and interactions. And now in part three, we'll walk through the marketing setup, marketing campaign, and marketing segments. My name is John Hoyt, Solutions Specialist for TMC. Let's get started. In this video, we'll begin with the basics in the CRM module. Marketing setups, marketing campaigns, and segments comprised of our contacts. Let's see how this works. I'll pull up my Business Central system. I'm logged in in the Sales and Marketing Manager role. I'll navigate over to my list of functions. And I want to scroll down in the setup area and talk real briefly about a couple of features that are real key in the marketing setup. Of course, we're going to have things like our defaults. We're going to be able to set up the numbering schema that we want to use for particular document types or contact types, whatever it might be. But I wanted to point out in this duplicate section, we have the ability to search for duplicate contact records, alert the user when those duplicates are found, and give them the ability to manage or edit or merge those duplicate contact records. You can specify what degree of overlap between two contact records you must find before you can declare it to be a duplicate. And you can set up a function to allow you to auto search for duplicates during the process of creating a new contact or updating an existing contact record. Once that marketing setup has been completed, we can turn our attention to creating a marketing campaign. I'll navigate to my list of open and active campaigns. I've got four that are currently being tracked, and as you can see, they're in different statuses or different stages of their particular campaign. To create a new one, we'll click on the new link, allow the system to auto assign the next campaign number. We'll call this our sample campaign. Its initial status code we're going to set in the planning stage. We'll walk it through the various stages over the life of this campaign, but we'll start with the planning. I'll specify when I want this particular campaign to kick off. Maybe we'll start at the end of January, and we'll run it through the end of April. Salesperson code came over as a default from our marketing setup. We can either accept that, we can change that to a different salesperson, or we can leave that blank entirely. Now, the next step in the process, after I have the basics of the campaign that I want to go through, is I need to tell the system who I want to target with this. I do that by creating a segment. There are no segments currently associated with this, so I'll click on New. I'll give it a description here, and we're going to call this one all of my sample contacts. Click on the Add Contacts button. I want to allow existing contacts. They may be a member of a different marketing segment. They can be added onto this segment as well. I could use the filter. Maybe I want to filter for just those contacts associated with a particular salesperson. In this case, we again want to grab everybody, so I can leave that blank. And I'll simply say I want to now add in all of those contacts as part of my segment. I can expand that section out, see all the different people that we've selected, and realize that I've got more here than I really want to work with. So as the marketing manager, maybe I want to go through and I want to start to eliminate some of these contacts. And they're not really relevant to the campaign that we're going to be running, so I don't need to include them. When I'm done, I can simply back out of that, back out again, and now I have a group of contacts associated with my campaign. I know who I'm going to be communicating with, but I need to have a purpose behind this campaign. I'm trying to liquidate inventory. Maybe I'm overstocked in a particular segment. 
and I want to clear some space in the warehouse getting ready for next season's materials to be delivered. To do that, I'm going to navigate into the campaign and I want to come down and I want to set some specific sale prices that are going to be associated with this. And so I could grab, take it a document. I could specify that in order to get this discount, you've got to buy at least three of that table, and that's going to be the sale price that I want. Now, I can put in my starting and end dates again, end of January, and we'll run this one through the end of April. And back out my change, didn't like that. I'll de turn back into my campaign itself. So now with the campaign set, I would have the contacts associated, who I want to work with. And it could be everybody, could be a narrowed set of my contacts. I can associate the particular items that I want to be included as part of the offering in this campaign. We're trying to sell tables, so I can specify that, what quantity I want to use, etc. And then I'd be ready to go through and start to actually send out the information, create the email print out the hard copy letters, do the emailing, et cetera. Once that campaign has been put in place, now I can start to create opportunities and track those opportunities and relate them to the specific campaign that originated. That allows me to do that after sale campaign kind of analysis. So in this video, we look through the basic records of the CRM module, how to set up the CRM module for duplicate tracking, duplicate detection, how to create a quick campaign, how to create a segment of my contacts that are then going to be associated with that campaign. And then we can go through setting specific sales line pricing or sales line discounting and send that offer out to our contacts via email or via a formal letter in UPS, um, Postal Service. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments. And if you need any immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website about tmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.